Hey everyone, welcome back. I am the Electrical Code Coach. I'm really excited about today's video. Today I'm going to give you the number one tip for troubleshooting electrical work. And it may surprise you what direction I head in because it has nothing to do with tools. It has nothing to do with technique necessarily. It has nothing to do with what instruments to use. It has everything to do with this. And this is the number one tip for troubleshooting electrical. And it's gather as much information as you can. So if you're new in the game, troubleshooting is trying to figure out problems when you don't know what's going on. If they knew what was going on, I could maybe give them an estimate up front. But if they don't know what's going on, for one, you have to charge for that in business. You have to make sure that you're charging for troubleshooting. Do not be doing troubleshooting for free. So they're paying you for that knowledge. Second, when you go into a home, the first thing you want to do, and this is the tip, is gather as much information as you can. So I'm going to talk with the customer. I'm going to say, hey, tell me the story. Make sure you take time listening to the story. Now, you've got to filter through the story because the customer is going to tell you 90% of what you don't need to know, but they're going to tell you that 10% that you do. So you're listening, you're, you're nodding, you're paying attention to what the customer is saying because they're going to give you cues and clues on where to go and where to get started. Some of those questions that you're going to try to draw out of them if they don't give it. Sometimes the customer will tell the entire story and it's everything that you need. Sometimes you have to draw it out. You'll ask, how long has the problem been going on? If it's been going on two years, you could be in the twilight zone right from the start. If it's been going on two days, then hey, we know it's been working recently. You're also going to ask the customer, when did you notice it wasn't working? Was there a trauma? Hey, we flicked a switch, it, the, it popped and it quit working. Or I remember using my blow dryer and when I got done using my blow dryer, it quit working. These are gonna lead me in certain rooms of the house. You're also gonna ask the customer, have they had this problem before? Is this something that you know has happened before? So you're gathering as much information as you can and it allows you to make that educated launch in the right direction. The second thing that you're gonna ask the customer is you're gonna ask them how old is the home? You can tell me how old the home is and it just comes with experience. I can you know, give you an idea of whether or not they have cloth Romex, whether or not they have grounds in the box, whether or not there are old school splices, meaning that the power bundle is in the lighting socket and they've used old school switch legs to go down to the switches. That means you know, if, if it is that era of home, then I know all my power bundles are going to be in the ceiling of this house. Also, at the same time, I could tell you if it's prior to GFCI protection. So is this pre-GFCI protection? Because oftentimes, if there's power missing in the house, there's a GFCI trip somewhere that the customer doesn't know about. So I'm gathering this information. Also, from the age of the home, I can tell you if there's knob and tube in it. I can tell you if it was during the time that they crimped or soldered the joints. And all of these things are going to lead me to different problems. And it just comes from experience. So you're gathering information. You're asking the customer the story. You're asking the customer the age of the house. And you really want to get as much information as you can from the customer. So that's the number one tip that I can give you it, for troubleshooting electrical and probably for troubleshooting anything is that you want to gather as much information as you can from the customer before you get started so you can head off in the right direction. I can typically do it with a phone call. Right, I can over the phone have the problem solved or solved or my starting point before I ever step foot on that job. Now, sometimes you get buffaloed and there's twilight zone situations and there's really something funky, but very rarely do I get buffaloed. I can almost always find the problem and I can almost always find it very quickly. Either have a solution or let's rewire it, one of the two. But I can almost always find the problem and I just want to encourage you guys today, go out there, go out, fight the good fight today. That's the number one tip I can give you for troubleshooting it has nothing to do with instruments or tools it has everything to do with you gathering as much information before you head out and you start troubleshooting that house i am the electrical code coach and i've dedicated my life to help you become everything that you can be in life and in the electrical industry if there's anything i can do for you you can always email me at electricalcodecoach at gmail.com let's get to it